Hello everyone, this is Asim Khan from rquist.net and today I am going to show you how to use the perspective tool in Adobe Illustrator. So first of all, we have to find where the perspective tool is. And if you go to your toolbar, you can see a little icon here which says the perspective grid tool and shortcut for that is shift P. And if you click that, you will see a grid comes up on our artboard. So <coughs> we have two planes, right and left and we have the ground we have the ground plane and we have the horizon line so what does it do actually it gives you ability to draw in the perspective so you can change the height you can change the position of your ground plane you can move your plans right or left same with this one and you can change the horizon line as well as well so let me show you the first way to using it first and when you see this icon this will tell you where actually you are working on which plane so right now we are on the right grid and to use that we would need the perspective selection tool just select it we have selected this right plane we are going to rectangle tool and if I draw something here you will see it's drawing in perspective so you can use it to draw different things like I have drawn it on the right plan now I'm going to left plan left, not the grid and if I want to draw something here I can draw it here you can change <coughs> you can change the height and everything of the, of the perspective grid but it won't affect which we have already drawn so and let's check the other way of doing it by pressing escape I can hide the grid let's delete these two and let's say I am going to I want to make a kind of a strip uh, square strip wrapper or a hotel building or a simple building so I would just draw the building I would say this is the right side of the building and we have windows like this and let me change the color to something like this and then I am just holding the alt key and duplicating the windows then group them then again horizontally I'm doing this you can hold down the shift key while you're duplicating so it'll it will not change the alignment like this we have done this okay we have this now let's group all this before that I'm going to centralize it okay group control G and again second copy okay I say this these are the two sides I'm going to change the color for this and I'm going to use a bit darker color now I have these two things two sides for the two planes now I'm going to draw a rectangle for our ground okay and I'm going to change the color for something like uh, say a grayish kind of color now let's <coughs> bring up the perspective tool here and let's maintain the height now I am I have selected the left side of the grid I'm going to select the perspective selection tool then select this side and I'm going to place it here like this then on the right side I'm going to place this here something here somewhat somewhere here so okay, I have this one control G and now I'm going to use select the ground plane and I'm going to put this here and then just by pressing control shift and the start bracket you just sent the plane to back now let's select the perspective tool again press escape to hide it now we have this one I'm just going to 
four select four group them bring it down make a duplicate bring it little down and place it somewhere here and same like that do it I'm going to oh sorry I'm going to do it in this way and then I'm going to bring forward the main building by control shift and closing bracket now you can see it is getting into the shape so by putting some extra things and playing with the whole thing you can create a lot of things it gives you a little 3d feel right now so this is how the perspective tool works so stay tuned for more tutorials or visit at, at uh, visit us at artist.net and we have a request section there you can ask for any kind of a tutorial or help if you need and we will try to help you out thank you